Hey guys, hope you're all having a great week and you've enjoyed doing some baking. Don't forget to let me know what you've been up to in the comments box below as I love hearing what you've been up to. Today I'm showing you how to make a flamingo pull apart cupcake cake. I think they're the perfect centerpiece for parties or gatherings when you've got your friends around and people can just take a cupcake when they want to. So I've got my cupcakes made. You can either use homemade cupcakes, shop bought cupcakes, up to you. I will leave a recipe in the description box down below if you did want to make them from scratch. I'm going to start by showing you how to make the buttercream. So I've got my sifted icing sugar. I'm going to add about half of this to my bowl. If I add any more, it's just going to fly up everywhere when I get beating. To that, I'm going to add all of my butter. I totally didn't realize I did this, but I'm actually using my pink flamingo bowl and everything else is pink as well. So there's a theme going on today. And a splash of the milk. Once you get that first bit mixed, it's much easier to add in the rest of the icing sugar. So you just want to add that in small stages and don't forget about the milk as well. You need four colours out of this buttercream, plain, orange, black and pink. So you want to separate those out into little bowls. You won't need much though for the plain, orange and black, so don't take away too much because the majority of that needs to be pink. As always, I like to use gel food colour, that way it doesn't change the consistency of the buttercream. And I add a small bit first, because you can always add more, but never less. I also don't want to add too much as I want it to be a pastel flamingo, but if you want yours to be neon, add as much pink as you'd like. I'm going to start by popping my pink icing into a piping bag and I'm going to assemble the cupcake. As the cupcake cake is quite large, you want to decorate when you're at the party or onto your serving plate. I'm doing mine on top of a piece of blue cardboard. It will resemble the blue sea and it'll go really nice with the pink. So I'm gonna pop out my cupcakes. So you wanna start with two cupcakes on the bottom. These are going to be the flamingo legs. Now I don't know if you've seen my Aruba vlogs. I'll leave a playlist up there and link down below. But we went to a private island where there were flamingos on the beach and you got to hang out with them all day. They were so pretty, the colors were amazing, and that's where I got my inspiration for this pull apart cupcake cake. So on top of that, you want to have one more above that, and then two to the right at a slight angle. This pull apart cupcake cake's quite easy to follow. You want to have three above that one, and then a fourth one sticking off the left end. You then want to copy four cupcakes above that row, carrying on with that diagonal line. And now you want to start making the neck. So grab two more cupcakes, place one on top of the end, and then the second one carrying on with that diagonal line. It's almost in the diagonal line, but it's almost veering off to the left as that's gonna form the neck. Just the last few and that's going to create its face and the beak and then once you've got it sorted you can move them around and you can do it by eye. 
once you're happy with your flamingo, it's time to get decorating. You want to leave the bottom two blank. They're going to be the plain vanilla buttercream and then the orange on top. And now I'm going to buttercream the rest of them pink. I'm gonna start with a circle in the center, bringing it out. And you want to try and get those cupcakes to touch as much as possible. I'm using a star nozzle, but you can use whatever you want. It's more the colors and the shape that will give it the flamingo look. If you don't have a piping bag or any nozzles, you can just spoon on the buttercream and spread it over. It will look just as good. So I'm just starting in the middle. I'm swirling that around and I'm going much further to the edge than I usually would, linking the buttercream to each cupcake. The pink is all done, time to get adding on the features. I've got my plain buttercream in a piping bag. No need for a nozzle, just cut off the end. And then over the two bottom cupcakes, you just want to pipe on the vanilla buttercream. And then I have my orange buttercream in a piping bag with a small round tip. I'm gonna draw a long line for the first leg and then a little triangle outwards for the second. And then finally, I have the black buttercream in a piping bag with a 1M Wilton star tip nozzle. I'm gonna draw on the beak. So that is how you make my pull-apart flamingo cupcake cake. Easy.